Hey, in today's bass guitar lesson, I'm gonna show you five killer bass fills designed especially for the intermediate bass guitar player looking to push their skills to a more advanced level. I'll see you inside the lesson. Four. Hey, it's James here from eBay's Guitar, and this lesson is a follow-on session from last week's video where we've covered four killer bass riffs designed for the intermediate bass player to start pushing them up into the advanced levels. And specifically, we covered how to use articulations such as hammer-ons, pull-offs and slides. We've had a ton of great feedback on this lesson and so many students have asked me, can you show me how to apply this to creating bass fills? Because using these articulations is absolutely key to getting the sound like the top pros do. So that's what we're going to cover in today's lesson. But first of all, before we hit the lesson content, I'd love to know what do you think makes an intermediate going on advanced player? Please do let me know in the comments and let me know what skills you think they possess. So first off, make sure you check out last week's lesson. I'll put a link in the description below because the fills we're covering today are going to directly relate to those riffs. Secondly, everything we're covering today is going to be written out in standard notation in a completely free PDF. There's a link in the description where you can download load your coffee. So this is bass riff number one from last week's lesson. And this is the fill that we're going to add. So the articulation technique that we learned in bass riff number one is hammer-ons and we're going to use this again in the fills. So to simply play a hammer-on all you need to do is play the first note as normal and then create the second note with your uh, fretting hand like that by literally hammering on down. And the crucial thing with every one of those pairs of notes, it's only being plucked once with the plucking hand. So let's take apart this fill. It's dead simple. It's based on the box shape, which the initial riff is based on, but this is a really super effective little technique is to push your fills up the octave. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go from a G to an A on the first beat of the bar, and then we're gonna go from a D to an E like that. So this is the first two beats. And then the third and fourth beat is exactly the same thing again. And then the first beat is simply a G to an A. And then this is really, which is a really nice little idea, is to go from the D to hitting the C sharp like, and we're just gonna slide back like that. So the first two beats of the second bar sound like this. Then on the fourth beat of the bar, I'm just gonna put a big slide starting at the E at the 12th fret on the A string to slide us back into the riff. So it sounds like this. So let me play the riff once and then I'll play the fill. So I'm going to demonstrate this in context, but the critical thing is where I'm going to place the fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the original riff three times and then to balance it out, I'm going to play the fourth, uh, the riff on the fourth time. So you could think of bars one, two, three, four, five and six as riff the original riff and then we're going to place the fill in bars seven and eight and this is what will balance out the phrase and one, make it sound two, really three, good. Four.
let's remind ourselves what riff number two sounds like from last week's lesson. Three, four. And this is the fill that we're going to add. Three, four. So if you go back and watch last week's lesson, you'll discover that the initial riff is based on a device called the major pentatonic forward position, which is a shape which looks like this, which creates the basis for our riff. But to continue this on for our fill, all we need to do is continue this into the next octave. So we end up with this. This is a really, really versatile shape. If you want to discover more about this, make sure you jump over and check out the Bass Lab Plus membership over at ebassguitar.com. This is my full step-by-step -step program where I take apart all of the most important shapes that you find on the bass guitar and show you how to use them. So let's take apart this riff step-by-step. -step. And the critical articulation that we're going to use within this, which will make it sound really good, is slides. So let me show you. The first note is an A at the fifth fret on the E string. And then on beat two and we go up to the ninth fret, which is an E on the G string. And then we slide into an F sharp at the 11th fret. So that's the first two notes. And then we go back to the E, to the C sharp, to the B, and then we slide back to the A, like so. So this is what the first bar sounds like. Three, four, and again, three, four. And notice how important those slides are to make the sound, and it also makes the shapes fall so much easier under the hands. So let's look at the notes in the second bar. So we're already on the A, and then all we need to do is go to the F sharp, E, C sharp, like that. So the first two beats are. So A, F sharp, E, C sharp, and then the last two beats are simply an E, a C sharp, a B, like that. So the whole phrase sounds like this. And then we go back into the original riff. Again, I'm going to demonstrate this to you with the track now. I'm going to play the original riff three times, and then to balance it out on the fourth two, time, I'm going to play one, the fill. Two, three, four. Guys, just before we hit riff number three, I'd love to ask you if you're enjoying this lesson, please make sure you subscribe to the e Bass Guitar YouTube channel because we release a lesson every single week designed especially for the beginner to intermediate bass player and beyond to teach them all of the most important skills they need to play a fantastic rock solid bass guitar. There's a red button somewhere around this video where you can subscribe to the channel and you'll always be the first to know when a new lesson is released. So riff number three from last week's lesson uses the backwards position which starts on the fourth finger and the riff sounds like this. And here is the fill that we're going to learn this week. So let's take this apart. This of course is another two bar bass fill and is in the key of A. So let's take apart the first beat. It starts off with an A at the second fret and then an F sharp on the D string at the fourth fret. And we play the A twice and go to the F sharp like this. And then on the second beat we go to an E and then hammer on to an F sharp like that. You can of course play that with the third finger if you prefer. It's completely optional. I prefer using the four over three technique there and hitting that with the fourth finger. So that's the first two beats. Now the second, the third and the fourth beat is exactly the same phrase but down a string. So we're going to play. So it's going to be an E to G sharp 
and then a B to a C sharp like that. So the first bar sounds like this. And then the second, the first beat of the second bar is this. And then we're gonna go a phrase which ascends like this. So we're gonna go A, B, and then we're gonna slide into a C sharp. So the second bar sounds like this. And then what I often do on a fill like this is put what's called a shake on the end. And I first learned this from John Patitucci about 20 years ago. And that's where we hit the target note, which is the C sharp. And then we shake around the note backwards and forwards like that. And that's a really great effect. So this is what the fill sounds like. So I'm going to put this in context now with the backing track. I'm going to play the original bass riff three times and then I'm going to place the fill in on the fourth time. So here's bass riff number four from last week's bass lesson. And here's the fill that we're going to learn to complement it this week. Now I couldn't resist putting a chord in there because the occasional chord as a bass fill sounds absolutely fantastic. Just check out players like Larry Graham because they use these a lot and they sound amazing. So let's take apart the first bar of this. Now this is a typical chromatic uh, shape on the neck. So it sounds like this and it uses a lot of offbeats. So those notes are an A to a C sharp like so, and then we play the D and the D sharp and the E on beats two and beats three and and beats four and respectively. Like so, one and two and three and four and like that. And then we rest on beat one of the next bar and halfway through the first beat we play the G and then directly on the second beat we play the A. So the first phrase sounds like this. Get that under your hand to begin with. Now the chord I'm going to use here, the technical name is called a tritone and it sounds really good. So the chord, the notes that we are aiming for here are a C sharp on the D string and then a, D, a G on the, at the 12th fret on the uh, G string like that. So the C sharp at the 11th and the G at the 12th and it gives that sound like that, which sounds really, really funky. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide into that from half a step below, like that, and you get that really classic funk sound. So to put that into context, this is what the fill sounds like. And again, So I'm going to demonstrate this in context. Don't forget, I'm going to play the original riff three times and then to balance it out on the fourth time, I'm going to play this bass fill. Then I'm going to let loose a little bit and have a jam using all of the riffs and the fills two, that we covered one, in the last two, two lessons. Three,
guys, so that's the end of today's bass guitar lesson. Don't forget with all of the fills and the bass riffs that we've covered in the last two lessons, you can start to mix and match them. So bass riff number one could work with fill number four. There are so many options when you start to get into it. If you want to learn more about how this stuff works, make sure you jump over to ebassguitar.com and check out the Bass Lab Plus, which is a full step-by-step -step program designed especially for the beginner to intermediate bass player and beyond. There's a link in the description below where you can grab your free 14 day trial and also don't forget to grab the free pdf that goes with this lesson so you can see everything we've discovered today written out in standard notation and tab cheers i've been james from ebassguitar.com i'll catch you next week